Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out back at the hide here today. We've got the Axis 2 Heavy Barrel and 6.5 Creedmoor back out. Doing a little bit of uh, load testing and load workup. I've ran two Saturday load tests on this rifle and have currently come up with uh, running 38.9 grains of H4350 uh, underneath 147 grain ELD using SIG brass loaded at 2.800 on our case length or overall length. So I've got 15 rounds loaded. I'm going to shoot these five shot groups here, get some velocity numbers. I'm going to shoot five shots. We're going to let the barrel and suppressor cool for about 10, 15 minutes or so. Shoot another five and then so on until we get through our 15 shots. And then we're going to get the velocity data on it and see what we got afterwards. So let's get going here and see what we can do. But after the two ladder tests that I ran, this grain powder weight seemed to do the best. So I'm anxious to see how it's, how it's going to run. So. so that's 24.07. Twenty-four Normally I hate to break my cheek weld when I'm shooting, but trying to get these velocity numbers, I don't really have a choice. Okay, twenty-four thirty-four. Last two here in the little magazine. Twenty four fifty nine. And twenty four oh two. So we got a little bit of spread on that one, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera, let this cool down for a minute, and we'll take our next five. All right, so we let our barrel and suppressor cool, so we're going to take our second five-shot stream here and see what we got. That was 2416. 24.38. Twenty four forty five. All right, last two here in this string. Twenty 
24.49. All right, not a bad string. So we'll let our rifle cool a little bit and we'll shoot our third and final string. <laughs> All right, guys, I kind of forgot to hit record on that last string. So uh, my apologies to that, but that just kind of goes to show how today is going back here at the range. But I do have the target footage of the last group, so I'll go ahead and include that in the talking portion here. But I just wanted to go ahead and tell you guys that I have done nothing to this rifle uh, from the second video as far as improvements or modifications to the rifle itself. Uh, same scope, same suppressor, trigger has not been messed with anymore, uh, same stock, the whole nine yards, same bipod. So these are the results that we've gotten just out of the upgrades that we did in video two and now a little bit of load development. So. Let's uh, go back and we'll get up to the uh, gun room. We'll crunch some numbers and kind of see what we got. Okay, guys. So we've got the numbers crunched from our three-group load test here. Um, our first one, which was this one right here, we had an overall group diameter of, it looks like 1.014 inches, and this was done at... 110 yards. The, this this shooting was done at 110 yards. Um, for that one, we shot a high velocity of 24.59, a low of 24.02. We had a SD of 21.6. That is really bad. Um, I'm really surprised it even grouped as well as that. Uh, let's see here. The second group, we had a .73 inch group. That's Guys, that is just absolutely amazing. That right there is three shots right in there. So, I mean, that, what more do you want out of a $350 rifle? <laughs> I mean, that is just, I'm actually a little bit speechless. I really did not expect this rifle to shoot this well. Now, granted, this was with a little bit of load development, but the SD on that turned out to be 11.4 and we had a high velocity of 24.49 and a low of 24.16. This last one here, we shot 0.844. Uh, still not a bad group, well under uh, MOA, so it is a sub-MOA group. We had an SD of 19 on that one with a high velocity of 24.89 and a low of 24.30. So, um, I tell you, I would definitely like to see those SDs down more. I don't know what the deal was going on here. Um, our second group turned out to be the best with the uh, SD of 11.4. I think we're going to do some more, some more load development on this, guys. I don't think it's done yet. I think we can get a little bit more out of it. Getting a group like that with putting three right they're essentially on top of each other. That just makes me absolutely ecstatic and definitely wants me makes me want to keep trying. So I definitely want to see what else it's got in the got in the tank. Um, I'm probably going to up the grain weight on powder a little bit and maybe play with the um, uh, overall length maybe a little bit and see if that does anything. But honestly, uh, this overall length seems to be working out okay so far. But uh, that's what load development's about. It's basically trial and error, guys. It, true load development takes time. Um, it takes components, you know, powder and, and bullets and primers and a lot of range outing. So this is definitely the beginning of, of what looks to be pre preliminary. Um, a very good, very good, very good uh, rifle. I mean, I, I don't know what else to really say about it. It's got some serious, serious potential. A $350 rifle shooting essentially sub-MOA. I mean, what honestly, even if I just left it at this, what more do you want? I mean, that's that's just a heck of a result there, but uh, we're definitely going to keep, uh, keep trying here. We're going to probably do a little bit more on our grain weight and see what happens, but uh, if you guys like this content, give it a like. 
you know, subscribe to the channel, share the video. It really does help. I appreciate it. Um, get in touch with me over on the Facebook page. I'm always glad to uh, talk with you guys, answer questions and stuff. It's really fun to interact with you all. Hit us up on Patreon. Um, I do have a Patreon account. If for you so desire to support the channel, you're welcome to. And if not, that's fine too. But um, as always, shoot straight. Later.